Why hello everyone, and welcome to my sample series, where I showcase games for either the PlayStation 4 Pro or the Xbox One X running in 4K and or HDR. This week, I'm going to be starting my multi-week project of bringing you high quality 4K HDR footage of all the games of Halo, the Master Chief Collection. And I'm going to be doing this one game at a time, probably one week at a time, for all six games of this collection. Um, and I will finish this off by doing Halo 5 Guardians. But today, I'm going to showcase at least the first level of Halo 1, the original game. I'm going to get started here. The Master Chief Collection has been updated several times since it came out back in 2014 and now incorporates 4K HDR and it also includes the two sort of side games, Halo Reach and Halo ODST. But today I'm going to get started on Halo Anniversary Edition. This is the updated version that was released in 2011 and this was updated on top of that. Uh, so yeah, let's get started here and Let's see if I can get a new game started. I play this on normal mode. Yeah. This video is being recorded in 4K HDR at 60 frames a second at about 40 megs a second. Uh, at a 40 meg a second bit rate. So it should look pretty good. There it is, the iconic ship. Pillar of Autumn. Covenant ships have always been faster. As for tracking us all the way from Reach, at light speed my maneuvering options were limited. We were running dark, yes? Until we decelerated, no one could have missed the hole we tore in subspace. They were waiting for us on the far side of the planet. So, where do we stand? Our fighters are mopping up the last of their recon picket now, nothing serious. But I've isolated approach signatures for multiple CCS class battle groups. Make it three capital ships per group. And in about 90 seconds, they'll be all over us. Well, that's it then. Bring the ship back up to combat alert alpha. I want everyone at their station. Everyone, sir? Everyone. Everyone. And Cortana. Mm -hmm. Let's give our old friends a warm welcome. I've already begun. Yeah, right now it is using the Anniversary Edition graphic setting, but you can switch back and forth between them using the back button, or the square on square button on the Xbox One controller. It's almost instantaneous. I spent some time thinking about it recently, and I think I've come to the conclusion that Halo 1 might be my favorite game of all time. I'm not entirely sure about that. I never really spent all much that much time thinking about what is my favorite game. You are the lady. But this like might be it. This is not a drill. I repeat, Which is strange. Is not a drill. Because it's not my favorite game for the original Xbox. Pan's Dragon Order is. Once again, it is our job to finish with the Flyboy start. We are leaving this ship and engaging the Covenant on solid ground. When we meet the enemy, we will rip their skulls from their spine and toss them away, laughing! Am I right, Marine? Sir, yes, sir! Mm-hmm. Damn right I am. Now move it out! Double time! Attention all personnel. We are re-engaging the enemy. External and internal... But in my mind, um... 
Halo transcends. All you greenhorns who wanted to see Covenant up close, this is gonna be your lucky day. Halo transcends just being an original Xbox game, largely due to this collection, which has all the games running sure. at 60 FPS. Right. Let's thaw him out. Which okay. was bringing low-level systems online, cracking the case in 30 seconds. I don't know. Maybe that's strange, but that's the way I look at it. Alright, I unfortunately neglected to turn subtitles on. Because my controls are properly inverted. Alright, how about if I, um... Go ahead and enable. Automatic default, what? Apparently I did have them enabled, just not properly? I don't know. Chief, please look around the room. I need to get a calibration reading for your battle suit's diagnostics. Good, thank you, sir. I'm bringing your health monitors online, sir. All right. Vital signs look normal. No freezer burn. Cool. Okay, sir. Go ahead and climb out of the cryo tube. I had debated whether to play this game or Twilight Princess HD as my daily long play game. I, gave you a double dose um, of I chose Zelda because I was more in the mood for that. But I definitely want to play through all the games in the Master Chief Collection before Halo Infinite comes out, presumably holiday this season. Well, I've heard some suggestions it could come out as early as September. I know the ordnance techs usually take care of your targeting sensors, but we're short of time, Chief. Just look at each of the flashing panels to target them. When you lock on, it'll change color. Okay, that looks good. I'm ready for the energy shield test now. Please follow me to the energy shield test station. Since I've already set my controls to invert it, it's not going to ask me if I want to invert them. Sensors show inbound covenant boarding craft. Stand by. Okay, bring his energy shields online, please. If I didn't automatically, if I didn't just go to the um, box, right. the square here, You'll he would have told me to step shot. inside of it. Okay, sir, bring them down to test the automatic recharge. All right. Recharging normally. We're showing green across the board. Bridge to Cryo 2, this is Captain Key. Send the Master Chief to the bridge immediately. Captain, we'll have to skip the weapons diagnostics tonight. On the double, crewman. Aye, aye, sir. The skipper seems jumpy. We'd better get moving. We'll find you weapons later. Okay, I'll leave the self-diagnostics running at least. Good idea. You'd better get to your evac group, Sam. Affirmative. I just have to reset the computer and I'm out of here. Oh, God. They're trying to get through the door. Security! It's yeah. Bridge to Cryo 2! Please, Sam! You might say his you might think his decision to want to reset the computer is what cost him his life, but no, he was gonna even if he ran at that moment, he would have still been dead. Same thing with this guy. Alright, so it looks like we have some uh, jumping to do here. And yeah, we're playing Halo. The awesome Halo music. Better days over there. To the bridge. All right, here we go. Captain Key, 
please. Good to see you, Master Chief. Things aren't going well. Cortana did her best, but we never really had a chance. A dozen Covenant Superior battleships against a single Halcyon class cruiser. Halcyon. Odds, I'm content with three, maybe four kills. You mean like from the Outer Worlds? No thanks to you, right? Yeah. So you did miss me. Report! It must have been one of their boarding parties. I'd guess an antimatter charge. Ma'am! Fire control for the main cannon is offline! Captain, the cannon was my last offensive option. All right, then. I'm initiating cold protocol article two. We're abandoning the off. That means you too, Cortana. While you do what? Go down with the ship? In a matter of speaking. The object we found, I'm gonna try and land the autumn on it. With all due respect, sir, this war has enough dead heroes. I appreciate your concern, Cortana, but it's not up to me. The protocol is clear. Destruction or capture of a shipboard AI is absolutely unacceptable, and that means you're leaving the ship. Lock in a selection of emergency landing zones, upload them to my neural lace, and then sort yourself for our transfer. Aye, aye, sir. Okay. Which is where you come in, Chief. Some sort of cybernetic Cortana implant he has in his head. Ship. Keep her safe from the enemy. If they capture her, they'll learn everything. Force deployment, weapons research. Her. I understand. The Autumn will continue evasive maneuvers until you initiate a landing sequence. Not that you'll listen, but I'd suggest letting my subroutines handle the final approach. Excellent work, Holt. Thank you. Are you ready? Yank me. Alright. Good luck, Master Chief. Plug this flash Your drive into our isn't much different from the autos. Don't get any funny ideas. I don't keep it loaded, so you will have to find out what you got. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, you have to remember the Covenant did not know the location of Earth in this game. It was not discovered until Halo 2, I believe. Unless there's some sort of um, book or um, other piece of media. Uh, that explains how they discovered it in in uh, between Halo 1 and Halo 2. I don't know. But to my knowledge, the company did not discover the location of Earth until Halo 2. And we got some shooting to do. You know, the part where this is a first-person shooter, not just a cinematic cutscene. Help, Chief. Do what you do best. All right. Maybe just that. Yes, I like to fire in short, controlled bursts by just sort of tapping the um. Button. I generally don't like holding down the trigger with this gun, unless I'm desperate. Okay. Pick up some health, because I foolishly took damage in the initial cutscene. Ammo. Well, yeah, this is a nice-looking game. Like I said, this is the um, this is a sort of an up-res version of the 2011 um, hit that guy in the back. 2011 remake of this game. This is a remaster of a remake. Stutter was the um name loading in new assets. Ah, 
apparently I got an achievement for killing a thousand elites. I did play through this uh, Our collection to attach their boarding craft. We go out and they come in. when it came out back in 2014, shortly after it. I picked up was an over shield. should switch back to the um, original style graphics. Um, it almost feels like I can do that as a separate video, if that makes any sense, but I'm not sure. I mean, here's the thing, this level does not look Impressive. At least not with the original graphics. I think that the um, second level is a lot better. See, I'll, I'll, show you, I'll show you what I mean. Here's a. Yeah, it is pretty instantaneous. Use the original style graphics. Some nice. Um, early shader work from the original Xbox era. Switching back to, yeah. I believe this is the same engine that powered Halo Reach as this game came out about a year after Halo Reach. So, yeah. In fact, the multiplayer mode for Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary Edition was on just the multiplayer from Reach. while reloading it interrupts the reloading animation you have to do it again. Guy hit me. Sure. Alright. That was a very painful sounding death he had to incur, but he deserved it. Covenant, it's a covenant. On the landing above us. Yeah, well. Take out the little guys first, it means there's fewer guns being shot at you. Alright. Guess we want to go this way then. probably post out two videos of this this week, uh, going through all the first level and the part of the second.
Follow the nav point. It will lead you to an opening. You mean like right here? Now we use flashlight. When I play through this game as part of a future daily long play stream, all the games in the Master Chief Collection, I'll probably use the um the Hyperkin made Duke style Xbox One controller for at least the first two games. I mean for the first two games, at least some of it anyway. We're too close. We need to find another route. Motion tracker shows all clear. Wait. We need to get to that door. The door's control mechanism is offline, but it's taken a lot of damage. You should be able to bash it open with the butt of your weapon. This is the one time in all of Halo that I remember, at least, that you do that. You break open a door by meleeing it. I mean, all of the Halo games. And yet, they put a lot of effort into tutorializing this the one time you do it. I may be wrong. If, if you can give another example, leave a comment below and let me know, but I think that's the case. I'd like to get through at least the first level in this first video. It looks like the Covenant want to be catching the effort. Nicely overpowered pistol. Oops. Guess I don't want to go that way. I can't go that way. Enjoy this nice space space cutscene. Look. What is that thing, Lieutenant? I know. We're landing on it. I knew it. The autumn's excited. 
accelerating. Keys is going in manual. It's easy to forget how big the hail ring actually is. It's the size of a planet. Bigger than a planet, actually, in terms of its circumference. Sure you wouldn't rather take a seat? Well, it doesn't sound as much lame as it says actual thing, but whatever. If I still had fingers, they'd be crossed. So yeah, I was able to get through the first level in less than a half an hour. That's pretty good, I think. I wasn't necessarily trying to do a speed run there, but I didn't want to make sure I got through it at least. We're coming in too fast. Sadly, uh, the Master Chief is the only one who survives this crash landing here, or in Cortana, but... Chief? Chief, can you hear me? At last. Are you alright? Can you move? Yeah. This lifeboat did not launch full. Oh wait, I guess some of them went flying out the back. Maybe didn't buckle in enough. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this video. I'm going to pause this video. And I'm going to get to uploading this while I set up to record part two. And I will show some of the second level of Halo. So I'll see you back here in a little bit.